All glory be to you, Lord. Holy, 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 mighty God, almighty. We worship you, Lord. We praise you. We bless your holy name in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 God bless you. How are you today? God bless you. I love you. Thank you so much for watching this video. We're going to be talking about something exciting today, briefly, and uh, I'm going to be done with it, but it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a wonderful subject, you know, and so I believe that after we're done with this video, let it be food for thought. Um, let us make, uh, let it make us think about some things. If it need be, adjust and make changes to our lives and uh, let it produce an avalanche of miracles in our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. I believe in the God of miracles. I believe in the God of signs and wonders. I believe that He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He is not dead. He is still sitting on the throne. He is very much alive and doing well. Thank you. And He is still in the business of doing miracles. And so long God is on His throne and He hears prayer, you have no problem. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. I've been reading two books of... Uh, general of god miss catherine kuhlman glory to god hallelujah one of the books was, was written by herself giving accounts of the miracles that took place in her ministry um, with the accounts of real people with their real names uh, of what happened in her ministry glory to god of what god did through her in the earth in the second book, the accounts of given, are given of the people themselves who became a recipient of a miracle through the ministry of Catherine Kuhlman. And it is such a blessing indeed to, for those people to describe the intense pain and agony and suffering they went through until the mighty power of God reached them and they received that healing touch and they lived the rest of their lives in wholeness, healed, being transformed in their souls as well, having eternal life in their spirit, glorifying God and giving glory to God in whatever they went on to do and wherever they went as much as possible. God used many of those people as a witness to testify of his miracles, wonder working power and healing, and in some cases to bring others to Christ and to eternal life and to the knowledge of the gift of God. Hallelujah, glory to God. Miraculous healings happened to the through the ministry of Miss Catherine Kuhlman. I believe I read somewhere that more than two million people were healed miraculously in her, uh, through her ministry. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Healed and touched by God, by the power of God, of the Holy Spirit, through the healing sacrifice of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Christ, our healer. Hallelujah. Amen. Touched by Christ, touched by Christ, our healer. We love you, Lord. All right, so some of those um, miracles, uh, those people were all incurable by medical science. Some suffering terrible, agonizing pain, and um, for some of them it was a death sentence. For some of them uh, it was... Um, Along with that, it was a, just a terrible life, stricken and smitten by sickness and disease. But miraculously, as God led their steps to the knowledge of Him and of His Son, Jesus Christ, who alone, who only is Lord and Savior, they were able to receive their miraculous healing through faith. 
in Jesus Christ the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, some of the people and some of the miracles and testimonies in those books were not necessarily healing miracles. There was this testimony of a precious man who was a nightclub owner, a major one. He owned a number of nightclubs throughout the country or so. And um, this man's precious wife, and so he was, uh, as, as the owner of those nightclubs, he was involved in a life of drinking alcohol and sin. And this man's precious wife prayed for her husband, prayed continuously, prayed continuously, prayed for a prolonged period of time. After she herself had experienced the touch of the Master in her soul, in her own soul, she prayed for her husband. She was able to bring him into the meetings of Miss Coleman. And at one point, there came such a change in this man's life that one day he came home to his wife from his work at the nightclub. He came home brokenhearted and he confessed to his wife that he couldn't go on living like this. He sold all the nightclubs. He quit that old lifestyle of sin and uh, started a new job and uh, the new job was bringing him less pay but more satisfaction glory to jesus hallelujah so um a blessed transformation of a soul this family had a new life um, at that time they even had to temporarily adjust their standard of living but what is more precious than finding jesus and having peace in your soul a soul transformed, hallelujah. Through the ministry of Miss Coleman, there were uh, drug addicts being delivered, which in itself is not necessarily a sickness, but it does lead to sickness. And uh, sometimes it, 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 it has terrible consequences, drug addiction. And uh, people have been made free from the power of sin and addiction, the power of drugs uh, through the ministry of Miss Coleman. Glory to God. Hallelujah. An amazing fact was that, meanwhile, many of those miracles were instantaneous. There were also quite a lot that were not. Those people attended the services. Some of them attended it um, service after service after service and some attended once and went home and it looked as if they were not healed and yet um, to just sum it up somewhere in the process of time they received so some received that instantaneous touch of the Lord where the sickness immediately disappeared from their bodies left their bodies and there was no more sickness, no more suffering, no more pain. Immediate healing, wholeness, and restorations right there in the services of Miss Coleman. Amazing thing happened to some who did not experience that in the service, but it happened to them when they went back home. To some it happened before the service, while they were waiting for the service. To some in the car. To some... Uh, who could not even get in the service there was somewhere uh, and and they received their healing there glory to god hallelujah some of those people who were healed were full of faith that they will be healed and some had no clue what was going on and some were outright skeptics but of course the point of contact with the living god was made either by those people by uh coming in touch with the presence and power of God by attending those services um, and either by their own faith or the faith of someone else who was praying and sometimes fasting for them and exercising faith in God 
for those people's lives to be transformed, those individuals to be delivered, saved, healed, and made whole by the touch of the Master of the Lord our God. Hallelujah. And some people received their healing gradually as they would go to the services again and again. Uh, they would start seeing improvements in their bodies. Now, um, I'm not sure, but I am. Sh I'm not sure if I read a story like this, but I am sure that this kind of a healing is possible as well, where someone went into the services and was not immediately healed, but either in instantaneously or a while later noticed a little improvement, and a while later more improvement and more improvement and more improvement in their situation until they were made perfectly whole. Do you know what made them perfectly whole? Their faith in the Word of God. Hallelujah. So, miraculous, amazing healings by the power of the Lord our God. Jesus is not dead. He is surely alive. Glory to God. And He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He did those works when He walked the earth. He did them through the ministry of Miss Kuhlman. And in our days, He wants to do them in and through us and in our lives. Um, praise the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. If you are in need of, miracle, uh, of a miracle, if you are in need of a miracle in your body, for your body, receive it and be healed. If you're in need of a miracle whatsoever, even a financial miracle or family breakthrough or you, for your children, you're believing in God for your children. If you are in need of a miracle today, receive it by faith from our God who is the miracle worker. And uh, when you've received your miracle, allow God to use you. Testify to others and allow God to use you and to work through you to touch the lives of others as well in the name of Jesus. Allow God to use you to work miracles through you into the lives of others because He wants to. Yes, hallelujah. He wants to use you. He wants to do it. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. The Bible says, Jesus says, The works that I do shall ye do also, and even greater works than these shall ye do. These are the words of our Lord Jesus. He is alive and well. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Our God never changes. He is the God of miracles. He is the God of signs and wonders. Yes, hallelujah. What He did before, He is able to do it again. Glory to God. Hallelujah. But He wants to use you and me. Yes, God can do it again and again. And again, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Blessed be your holy name forever, Lord. In Jesus' mighty, precious name we pray. Amen. God bless you. Amen.